This beautiful 66 Chevy 2 Super Sport belongs to Roy. He's owned this car since 1996, and this is the second one he's owned. And I had a, a NSS 3, uh, 327 350 horse Chevy 2 back in the 60s uh, when I belonged to the Shakers Car Club. And uh, the older you get, then uh, it started, I started to think about getting another one and happened to mention to a friend of mine who deals in cars uh, that I'd be looking for another one and lo and behold he found one. So I either had to uh, do something or get off the pot. So uh, I went down and looked at it and uh, made a deal and bought it. You know, out of, out of Woods, Woodstock. This car's been around a bit before it landed in Roy's hands. So it spent its life, uh, it came out of London and um, then it went to uh, Niagara Falls region and wound up in Woodstock and then it wound up here. And I took the car totally apart in uh, I think 04 and, uh, and then it's been like it was a three or four year restoration but uh, it is an SS car, it is an L79 car which makes it ultra rare and uh, it's just a, a hoot to drive. Back in 66, you could walk into a GM dealership and order a Chevy 2 Super Sport with a close ratio Muncie four-speed transmission and a Corvette L75 327 350 horse engine right off the dealer's floor. Straight off the assembly line, this muscle car could cover the quarter mile in just a tad over 15 seconds. A lot of these cars went straight from the dealership to the drag strip and for that reason there aren't many around. 66 was a completely new design for the Chevy 2. Roy talks about the engine and how the car drives. Um, it's basically a stock spec 327, um, 350 horse stock spec thing. Yeah, it's got aluminum heads on it, but still, uh, it is pretty much stock, you know. That's, that's what's in it. And so it's nothing wild. I can drive it anywhere. I've driven it to London. The only thing that really stops me uh, is, is the rear end is a 373, and then by the time you're getting on 401, Going with the transports, you're going at 32, 3300 RPMs. It uh, it sings pretty good, but it, I can drive it drive it pretty much everywhere. As you might expect, after 33 years on the road, the body wasn't in all that good condition, and so Roy set to work to bring it back to like new. I did pretty much everything on this car except you know uh, chrome. I can't do that. Uh, I can't weld. So. Uh, there were lots and lots of rust issues in the car that you don't really see until you sandblast the car, take it apart, and then you find all the rust issues and had them all cut out and uh, welded patches in and I did all the, everything from that I did forward. So uh, uh, all the, the metal finishing, the body, the body work, uh, all that stuff I did myself and I actually sprayed it myself too. So uh, pretty happy. Base clear is kind of easy, you know, because you know, the base coat uh, sets up pretty quick and uh, when you put the clear and buff it up, it, uh, it comes up pretty nice. So I'm a, I'm very picky about straight cars, so I spent a lot of time, probably two years, just straightening the car out as best I could. It is not perfect, but it's uh, it's pretty darn good, you know. So, pretty happy with that, and everything goes together, back together, uh, pretty easily uh, if you take your time. And uh, I've had a lot of fun driving it. You know? A lot of us spend plenty of time trying to decide what color to paint our cars. That was the case with Roy until he lifted the carpeting to discover the original color. That's the original Tropic Turquoise. Uh, that's a factory color. When I took the car apart, uh, I pulled the, 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 the floor mats up and the, and the rug and the, the, the sound deadener up and I was going to paint it red or white or something until I saw the, the Tropic Turquoise and I said, wow, I really like that. So I had them mix me up a little sample color across Canada and I uh, fell in love with the color so that's what uh, made me decide. Roy's 66 Chevy 2 Supersport hardtop is a classy little car that packs plenty of punch and yet another of our great local cars. Want more information on this classic? Just ask Roy the next time you see him as our season opens up. Thanks for viewing. I hope you enjoyed. So long for now and come spring, we'll see you at the car shows and cruise nights.